Hey guys, it's Bench175, and I thought I'd do an unboxing video of my Beretta Elite LTT with the carry bevel package. So, here we have the box, and let me open it up. Here we have it in the box. Nice uh, little section for the gun itself. And obviously I've uh, loaded these. It comes with three... Um, so I got the carry bevel package, which also includes the NP3 coating, and it'll come with three magazines like this. I guess they ran out of the 18 round magazine, so these will be 15 rounds, or it's the only option that you can choose. It says, uh, PB, Cal 9, Para, Made in Italy. And then, uh, under here, we'll have the lock. You'll have the original trigger bar, and uh, I'm guessing this is the, the D-spring, hammer spring. You'll have a um, sticker, a printed uh, invoice for your order, plastic bag. Join the NRA, but don't join the Gun Owners of America instead. Warranty paper. Uh, and I don't know what this is. So I'll do a quick spin of the carry bevel package model. And then I'll talk about more in detail about what the carry bevel package is supposed to give you. So the first thing is um, beveling, which uh, they say will reduce the showing of wear on the frame and slide. Um, so I met a guy that he has an LTT as well, but without the carry bevel. And I took a picture of our two uh, guns. And I think this is one spot where I can find a, a difference is it's slightly less sharp across the front of the slide. So here's uh, the, the carry beveled on the left and then the standard LTT on the right. I think it looks a bit sharper there. And then also above the barrel, um, his looks a bit sharper and this one was probably was looks like it was beveled a little bit but those were the only two spots where I could really find a difference in the beveling um, the other difference will be the frame and the slider seracoded after they do the beveling I, I'm assuming or of course and so in this picture you can see um, the frame is slightly glossier and uh, the standard elite will be a bit more flat black on the frame. Um, has MP3 coated parts, so that will be the takedown lever, the trigger, the slide stop, the oversized magazine, the decocker, and the hammer. And oh, the grip screws also look like MP3 coated. So that looks really nice in my opinion. This also includes the trigger job from Langdon Tactical, which means that they also um, changed this to a 13 pound trigger spring. So it's a bit better than the D uh, model. And I'll go ahead and show you the trigger pull. So first let's show you the double action pull. So that was at six pounds, 10 ounces. Let's do it one more time. That was at six pounds, 12 ounces about. So under seven pounds. And that's not to mention how, how smooth it feels. It does feel very smooth with, uh, I think it's the NP3 coating that makes it feel smooth all the way through because when I tried the standard LTT it felt a little bit grittier and then also the double action is obviously very nice I mean sorry single action very light go ahead and sh show you the pull for that so that was about three pounds and twelve ounces 
Let's do it one more time. Three pounds, 12 ounces again. And uh, I also got the optimized um, Langdon trigger bar. So I can show you how good the reset is on this. There's the reset. It's like, looks like two millimeters. So now I'll just go over the features that make an Elite LTT. So up on top, we have the Vertex Slide, which allows for sight options. I went with the fiber optic, but you can also go with the Spartan sights. And it has a front cock insertions, it has a 4.7 inch stainless steel barrel with a target crown. You can kind of see that in the camera. And it has a beveled rear slide. See it slightly is beveled here. Um, it has an M9A1 frame. So you can see the outline of the frame here. And it has one uh, Picatinny cutout for whatever you want to put on there. Radius trigger guard. If you compare it to an M9, you can see it doesn't have the sharp point right here that hurts your knuckle shooting for a long time. The grip has a uh, front and back checkering. We have a skeletonized hammer here. Um, thin G10 grips. Some beveling in the magwell. Let's see if I can get that. Flush mainspring cap, so there's no lanyard here or lanyard hole, and um, the oversized uh, magazine release. So I'll go ahead and show you how the magazine ejects. Slips right out and does that for all three magazines. So I didn't really want to call this a review because I've only put about 100 rounds through it. But I'll go ahead and show you some targets. Um, hopefully you can see. So this is five shots with uh, federal range ammo. Here's uh, five shots with, so these are one inch uh, squares. Five shots with uh, Remington UMC. And then here's a, a nine shot group with uh, federal HST. I'm gonna, I'll put these pictures at the end of the video if you want to get a clearer look. No malfunctions in the 100 rounds about that I shot. And I have to say this is um, my favorite handgun that I've handled personally. My only complaint with this gun so far is that when I put my Surefire X300 UA model on, um, well first of all, with the Picatinny bar, it doesn't go all the way back and it doesn't click unless you remove this uh, back piece, which uh, you have to do with um, 1 16th punch. And then you, if you remove this back plastic on the, on the light, then you can get it to slide all the way back. But then even then, um, it wobbles a little bit and it wobbles even with uh, the universal cross bar in there. Uh, the only way that I found or that I remedied this is um, I made this little putty thing fit it into there so if you can find something to fit into this spot maybe some like velcro tape or something and then with that in there there's almost no play so easily fixed but I think uh, there should be a way to get it so that it doesn't wobble with this light that's like one of the most popular um, white lights on a handgun. So the only change I'm planning to make on this right now is I ordered the 12 pound hammer spring from Langdon Tactical and so I'm gonna put that in and uh, see how the trigger is then and I'll probably make a video about that. Last thing I'll do is just a quick takedown so you can see inside the gun.
So this is um, one solid piece. And with this being NP3, this was uh, really easy to clean. Um, you just pretty much wipe it and, and uh, the carbon comes off and then oil it back up again. And you can see how, how smooth everything is with each other. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe and I'll talk to you guys uh, next time.